As we take time this Memorial Day weekend to remember those who died while fighting for our country, today we're focusing on the wounded who came home from World War II and fought for the disabled. In the Christopher Award-winning book, Wheels of Courage, How Paralyzed Veterans from World War II Invented Wheelchair Sports, Fought for Disability Rights, and Inspired a Nation, author David Davis writes about how before World War II, if you were paralyzed, you were considered what he calls a no-hoper, but the war was a game changer. Before World War II, if you were paralyzed, and especially in battle, a severe battle injury and you were a paraplegic, chances were that you were dead within about 18 months. And that was because mostly infection, bacteria, they didn't have penicillin. And penicillin comes, is developed in the 1930s and then used very effectively when the war starts in, in uh, vast quantities. The other thing that was happening was, was better uh, battlefield medical care so that the uh, those who were injured were taken right to the surgical theaters very quickly uh, so they were attended to quickly they also were evacuated from the battlefield more quickly so that they got great care back in the states or or wherever the hospitals were so it was a combination of things and such that they had learned unfortunately from the problems that world war one Davis calls the disabled war World War II vets pioneers who created a new paradigm for people with disabilities. He writes that they took charge of their fates and integrated themselves into society from inventing wheelchair sports to fighting for the rights of the disabled. At the time, think about it, there were no curb cutouts, there were no ramps to buildings, no uh, buses that would meal. Uh, disability was stigmatized, uh, not just in the United States, but all over. And there had never been this vast number of, uh, in, in this particular case, paraplegics. So they did take their fate in their hands. And all they were saying was, if you can help with accessibility and accommodation, we can do anything. We can hold down jobs. We can, if you have uh, cars that have hand controls, we can go into the cars, put our wheelchairs in the back seat, drive to a job, uh, drive to a home. And that was the other thing, uh, homes that were uh, built to accommodate their disability. So you had ramps, you had widened doorways, you had bathrooms that were accessible uh, for when you were in a wheelchair. Davis tells us two companies in the Diocese of Brooklyn stepped up and put the disabled veterans to work, Bulova Watch Company and Pan Am, and both created wheelchair basketball teams. You can get a copy of David Davis's book, Wheels of Courage, on Amazon.com or at a bookstore near you. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.